Hello and welcome. For those of you who may be watching or visiting for the first time today, my name is Makia Turner and I am a realtor here in Las Vegas with Realty One Group. Today I'm going to show you exactly what has been happening here in the Las Vegas real estate market over the last few months in regards to the supply and demand and the absorption rate and conversion of active to closed properties. The report you're seeing on your screen can be downloaded on my blog if you would like a copy for yourself. So if you are on YouTube, please follow the link in the description and head over to grab your own copy. To kick things off, let's look at the overall supply on the market since February of this year. Based off of this chart, you can see that the overall supply has grown at a steady pace. REO supply is growing a lot slower than the previous year of 2009, which means that the banks are not foreclosing on homeowners in default as fast as they once were. On the flip side, we are seeing short sale supply continue to outpace every other type of active listing available. In my opinion, this shows that the banks have found that working with a homeowner instead of foreclosing on them has proved to be a more effective way of solving their problems. Traditional listing supply has also continued to increase over the months and this can be attributed to buyers flipping foreclosed properties that either bought at the trustee sale or as an REO from the banks. Moving on to the demand side, we can see that the overall demand has decreased at a very, very slow rate and it almost has remained steady despite a few dips over the months. REO demand has seen the sharpest decline over the months and this can be tied to the fact that people have had their experience of bidding wars take place when trying to buy REOs. As you can see, the demand for short sales and traditional listings has increased with minor dips throughout the months, which in my opinion is a good sign that things are beginning to turn around. Even though the overall demand is down slightly, we are still seeing interest from buyers in this market. The absorption rate has begun to climb back up, meaning that properties are staying on the market longer before they actually sell. The properties with the highest absorption rate are short sales, and this is no surprise because of the lengthy process that comes along with getting a short sale closed successfully. REOs and traditional property types are also taking a bit longer to close, but this is due to the slowdown in the overall activity. The overall market speed has slowed down over the last few months and REOs have taken the hardest hit in this area. The once favored REO properties are now beginning to lose traction to short sales and traditional property types. We are still having several thousand sales per month, but nowhere near to what we seen in 2009. REOs are still the main property type closing escrow, and until the demand for these types of properties disappears, I believe that they will continue to outpace every other property type available. Moving on to our final topic for today's video, which is the median price for 2010. As you can see, the prices have dropped from the beginning of this year until now. Despite the drop in the median price, we have seen things level off, which is another sign of stability in our market. The most consistent median price for a property type is in the REO area, which hit its peak during the very beginning of this year, but ended up leveling out as the summer began. Short sales have remained somewhat stable, but as you can see, the median price is still sliding down, but slowly. This is going to conclude my video report today, so if you have not already subscribed to my blog or YouTube channel, please make sure you do so before you leave. Also, remember if you would like a copy of this report for yourself, head over to my blog by following the link in the description if you're watching this video on YouTube. Be sure to share this video with your friends on Facebook and Twitter, and thank you once again for spending your time today to watch this Las Vegas real estate market update. I am Makia Turner, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to give me a call direct at 702-542-1883, or send me an email to turnermakia at cox.net.